Next, it's a heavyweight collision between Isaac Frost and Stefan Struve. So two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about the defending takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows tucked to the ribs. The jab goes out, the jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Tybo class or something like that. Nice punch by Frost, Joe. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Struve's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Nice job to land the knee to the body. Man, I wish I was that tall. Struve gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Big shot to the head. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize what hit him, he's already hitting him with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. Ooh, what a punch. got the reach advantage, you might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jab. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Lands a nice straight punch there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a great punch like this with? I'm excited to see what happens. Effective punch there by the skyscraper, Stefan Struve. Looking to land the right just out of range. Oh, and he lands yet another flush knee. That's going to leave a mark. And again, when you're using this length as effectively as he is here tonight, you might get a finish here in the not too distant future. Oh, nice jab by Frost. Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Ten seconds now in round one. Five minutes in the books. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of strike? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1-level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable strike. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. You can have two very talented fighters. Sometimes it's very deep, and that's what we saw in round number one. Just misses there with the left. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Let's go. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. He's got to be careful dipping his head and throwing that jab. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is the technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Back and forth we go here! Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Well, he's 
really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Cross strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. Oh, yes, it is a lost art in mixed martial arts. Not just the jab, but the double jab. I mean, a beautiful double jab. That thing's throwing right from the jet, too. Oh, oh he's hurt. He's hurt right. Oh, he connects there. Right on the elbow. The body keep playing. Screws lower jaw. Very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, straight right. Chance coming in, big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC talking through the huddle. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. All right, so back to back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximize those 60 seconds on this. This is what happened. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Well, he's been pretty out. Oh! Back to the feet. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Goodness, what a fight. Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. And there he is after the huge knockout turned in tonight. Near-perfect execution and one of the bigger highlights of his UFC career.